and Havens, age 34, uh, entered the Middletown Division of Police lobby requesting to speak with an officer. Uh, Mr. Havens gave officers detailed information uh, about a possible homicide that occurred at 5635 Stone Path Drive in the city of Middletown. He then identified a female, Bonnie Marie Vaughn, age 59, who he says shot and killed an individual inside the residence. Mr. Haven stated later that he had dismembered the body. At 2032 hours, officers went to 5635 Stone Path Drive for a well-being check on the individual. Upon entering the residence, officers observed blood and the remains of a human body that was dismembered in a first floor room of the house. Bonnie Vaughn had fled the scene prior to officer's arrival. Um, her vehicle was then located around 10.30 p.m. in the parking lot of a gas station located at the corner of Dixie Highway and Coles Road in Middletown. Uh, when officers pulled into the lot, Ms. Vaughn did attempt to flee. Officers used their patrol vehicles and boxed her vehicle in. She was then taken into custody without further incident. Ms. Vaughn was interviewed and then booked into the Middletown City Jail and charged with murder. John Havens has been charged with tampering with evidence and abuse of a corpse. Any questions? What's the relationship between Ms. Vaughn and Havens? Uh, they have some relationship. Seems that there's a, he might be dating uh, the deceased, uh, might be dating her daughter is what we've determined right now. There's still a lot of things that we're working out on that. And the deceased the victim is the husband of Bonnie Vaughn? From what we know right now, that's what we're thinking, but until we get clarification from the coroners and we see some of the records, there's some, right now there's some controversy as whether they were married or not. We're still trying to confirm that as well. But they were, they were in a domestic relationship, yes. Any problems at that house, any motive that you can? We have answered some disturbance calls there in the past. Um, that we have. I can, we have answered some domestic disturbance calls there in the past, yes. Involving who? Involving Miss Vaughn and the possibly the deceased. We're not going to issue. We're not going to let his name out until we get confirmation from the coroner's office. I've heard somewhere that that name is already out there, but I am not going to confirm that right at this time. And how many? The first that the police department had heard of the homicide was Tuesday, correct? Correct. But um, was it? Do you all know when the victim was actually? That will be have to be determined by the coroner's office. What do we know about this this crime itself and the abuse of the corpse and all that? What what can you tell? We heard this was in a garage. What other? Kind of I'm not going to confirm any of that right now. I can tell you that the, the body was dismembered, but I'm not going to disclose too many of the details. Like I said, this is still under investigation um, until we've interviewed all the parties, all the family members, and everything else. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that. In court, they said he used a hacksaw to. Remember these bodies. Is that something you guys That I can't confirm, no. That would have to be determined by the coroner. And the victim in this case was shot and killed, and then all of this happened? Is this Allegedly. We do not, like I said, the coroner's office will have to determine. Mr. Havens did state that, um, but we do not have confirmation that he was, what the, what the form of uh, death was or what the uh, cause of death was at this time until the coroner releases his report. Was, without getting too graphic, were there gunshot wounds when you arrived, or was it at a point where you officers did? Tell? All I can tell you is officers did locate casings. Uh, priors on Vaughn, do you, have you guys, other than these domestics, have you had any run-ins with her? Um, no, not that I'm aware of. Other than the domestic uh, situations that we've been out there on, no, not that I'm aware of. Uh, what about Havens? Have you had any? He's from Hamilton County, so. Oh, Hamilton County? Yes. Okay. Any idea why he would come into the police station and make this statement? I don't want to speculate. Um, I, I really don't know what his motivations were. Um, he obviously had some knowledge of the crime. Um, what that is, we'll have to play out in court, and, and we'll see. Any indication that the girlfriend would be involved in this, the victim's daughter? Like I said, that's what that's why we don't want to release too many much, much more information until we've interviewed all of these parties thoroughly. Um, and like I said, hopefully we'll get the complete story. But like right now, this is still an active investigation. I'll leave it at that. What does that process look for you, like for you guys, and how long do you expect it to take to be able to, to speak to all of those parties? 
Uh, I expect it. Uh, unfortunately, our detectives right now are working two homicide cases at the same time. They're working this one and then the shooting we had last week. Um, I don't anticipate this uh, being wrapped up for probably another week or two. Do you know how long it took from the time that maybe the body was numbered to uh, Haven's coming to the police department to confess? We do not know. Like I said, until the coroner determines the time of death, method of death, we won't know an exact timeline. Is, there was confusion on if this happened in Warren County or Butler County. Oh, it's Warren County. But it's, it's right on the line, though, isn't it? Correct. But if you run the address on the auditor's website, it does not come up on Butler County. It comes up on Warren County auditor's website. So it would be, be a Warren County prosecutor then? That is correct. This case? Yes. Is it the Warren County coroner that's handling it or the Hamilton County coroner? It would be the Warren County coroner, but I believe they send theirs up to Montgomery County. Montgomery. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's where they go. Gotcha. For the longest time, Middletown had no homicides, and now all of a sudden, three within a couple of months. Any, is, it, is that concerning for you? No. Um, I think you know, if you look at the past, you know, the past six years, we've had an uptick in homicides. We've had, we have. Um, I think we did a pretty good job this year of containing a lot of the gun violence that was here in the city. I mean, we've taken over 200 guns off the streets already this year. Um, you're never going to be able to curb it all, but I think we've done a pretty good job this year. And then this crime that happened last night, this is just one of those shocking crimes that occurs that um, is very rare. I do not know. I was not here. I have not viewed the video. We do have a video of the of him coming into the lobby, and then of course the detectives interviewed his brief thing last night. But I have not seen the video. No. Are you all able to release that video yet? Yeah. We're working with IT to to get it, but it could be a day or so. Oh, we yes. No, we're working with IT. Yeah, there's video of our lobby, but we don't have access to that. Our IT is the only one because it's on their security system. Yeah. Yeah. So it it could be it could be a day or so. What, um, yeah, we're, we're down three IT guys. So, yeah, as as yeah. we'll, get, we'll get it to you guys as soon as we can. Yeah. Do you know if there is a dash cam of bodies of rest? Yes, there is. We can get that too. There's okay. dash cam of the. Okay. Uh, I didn't the, think the, there the was. I thought 